Hello students, uh, in this model uh, we will uh, take an example of uh, fast frequency hopping MFSK system and uh, we will uh, now apply our uh, the knowledge of this uh, active search acquisition mechanism for this kind of the systems and we will try to find out how in a practical system we like this FFH MFSK. Uh, this uh, search mechanism is uh, applied or search mechanism is uh, accomplished. And uh, remember uh, with uh, when we will discuss this typical uh, system, uh, we will uh, carry forward all our previous knowledge of uh, the basic understanding of serial search acquisition mechanism versus the parallel search acquisition mechanism. Uh, and we also understand what is the first acquisition versus the slow acquisition. Uh, we uh, learned about the FFH MFSK signal and the systems long back. So, we will quickly revisit how the system operates and then uh, we will enter into the search acquisition, acquisition uh, mechanism for this kind of system. So, let us start with a quick recap of this uh, FFH MFSK signal. FFH stands for fast frequency hopping and uh, and uh, MFSK is the multi-tone uh, frequency shifting modulation going on. And uh, remember though the slide name is FFH MFSK systems and signals, we will uh, also consider the slow frequency hopping MFSK systems. So, we will today discuss uh, the active serial search acquisition process for the both. As it is active serial search mechanism, so remember we will have the correlator as well as um, integrate uh, dump receivers. So, multiplier and integrate dump receiver non-coherent uh, uh, envelope detectors all those components are expected to be present in the signal path rather than the mesh filter kind of architecture, which was uh, we have seen which is uh, a passive uh, device. And uh, let us quickly first revisit uh, the fundamentals of uh, FFH MFSK system. We understand that what is MFSK? MFSK modulation actually changes the KDI frequency um, to one of the M capital M tones. So, we have a capital a bunch of capital M number of the tones and if suppose my M is equal to 4. So, I will have F 1 to F 4 number of the tones or the frequencies to choose my transmitted data. So, for 0 0 transmit data I will I may be choosing uh, frequency 1, 0 1 I will may be choose transmitting over frequency 2, 1 0 I may be transmitting over 3 and 1 1 I may be transmitting over 4. Okay. So, these uh, are the capital M possible frequencies around the carrier frequency over which uh, the MFSK modulation uh, happens and MFSK modulation can go on. And <coughs> for fast frequency hopping, the capital M array frequency is the same over the hop duration. So, and remember that when it is a fast hop or a slow hop in order to identify that we did like this, we are compared to the duration of the symbol, if it is a symbol duration T s and if this is the hopping duration T h, then if we find that symbol duration is more compared to the hopping duration such that within a symbol you are hopping over the multiple frequencies, we call it a fast frequency hopping. And uh, is as if actually a same tone once sent on the frequency 1 and then you sent over the uh, sorry, the one MFSK tone is sent over one hop frequency to and then immediately change to another hop frequency. If that is the situation, then we will call it is a fast frequency hopping in, instead of the slow instead of the case uh, in the slow frequency hopping. Uh, the same symbol actually will may be within the uh, within the hop duration over the hop duration. Uh, you are within a symbol duration, you are there is no hopping over the frequencies. And uh, at least we will be assuming for this today's discussion that for one FMFSK tone is getting transmitted over hop one hop duration for this slow frequency hopping. Okay. 
so, we will have uh, one set of capital M number of the frequency set for the modulation, data modulation and uh, there is um, carrier hopping. For hopping actually, I have another set of the frequency say capital F, where the components of the capital F is F 1 to F 1 to say capital F n, where over those frequencies, the, they are the hopping frequencies over which the hopping is going on. So, one is actually because of the MFSK modulation, you are having a set of the frequencies, which are getting used for modulating the data and this modulated data are now hopping over the multiple frequencies. Uh, in case of FFH, the hopping speed is very fast and in case of SFH, per modulated symbol, one dedicated hop frequency is there. So, that was the fundamental idea and fundamental understanding that we have recapped for understanding what was the MFSK signaling scheme and what is the meaning of this um, SFH MFSK or FFH MFSK. Uh, remember whenever we are thinking that there is a FFH MFSK, uh, for each and every hop there are, uh, we will consider that for there are total capital N number of the hops and um, the number of the hop per uh, symbol duration that is not varying, that is constant. So, this is the circuit for this active search acquisition uh, methodology for FFH as well as SFH MFSK signal structure will little bit uh, vary when the modulation, when the scheme changes from SFH to FFH. Uh, I have uh, given here two different figures, figure 1A is a combined figure of the acquisition mechanism, where actually the non can where the non coherent demodulator architecture is separately given in figure 1b. So, 1b is basically zooming inside these blocks and showing the architecture what is there inside the block. And we understand the overall system acquisition is such that uh, you are having the incoming signal and uh, the local PN generator is generating the codes and where and driving the frequency synthesizer to choose a typical hop frequency based on the controlled by the codes. And we understand that the code used for the hopping in the transmitter is well known in the uh, receiver. So, the code that is getting generated exactly actually the same that is there in the transmitter as well as they are perfectly synchronized for the time being. Uh, so, if they are uh, perfectly synchronized, then your whole output, then you will be getting a perfect output well synchronized actually down signal in the ZT. Uh, when the band pass filter, it will be simply passed by the filter activities and the demodulator will be demodulating them exactly at the frequency IF, the in, uh, intermediate frequency plus the wherever the data modulation frequency is residing from FS1 to FSM. Squalor detector output will be detecting it and then the output of all the detectors, out, outcome of all the detectors here uh, the maximum is will be selected over for each and every uh, th second, n into th second and uh, as we are having n number of the hops within a symbol duration. So, symbol duration will be consisting of how many number of the hops you are having over with the hopping time and any the maximum value will be for again uh, sent by the the uh, threshold comparator uh, to update the clock. So, that is the whole block. Remember, once you are getting a perfect synchronization situation there with which I started, then actually the output of this uh, detectors will output of the detectors as well as a uh, uh, square envelopes and addition detection and the adders. The output of all the adders um, will be exactly uh, high, I mean demodulator detector output will be high for uh, all the shifted. Uh, modulation schemes and all uh, well the different kind of the uh, hopping, I mean modulation schemes and then it will be giving you the perfect one and there will be actually uh, no changes in the update, no update is required and there will not be any uh, threshold computer output will give you perfect 0 and there will not be any changes required for the clock, which does not happen in the practice. 
So, though PN sequence generator and they sitting in the receiver has some knowledge about what is that PN sequence uh, used for the transmission, it has no clue at all actually about the phase information about that. And uh, hence it is uh, there is, is heavily expected that the incoming signal and the locally generated PN sequence will not be in sync and there is a requirement of the active search acquisition mechanism. Uh, here in this block diagram, the, all this N C D mod uh, stands for the non coherent demodulation. That means, I wish to uh, remind you that non coherent demodulation means you do not have any information about the carrier phase and carrier phase synchronization is not yet done in the receiver. In presence of the carrier phase ambiguity, you are trying to do the active search acquisition and hence it is a demodulator and the squalor detector output that uh, with which we are relying on and the selection of the maximum will be given all will be given almost the same kind of the values if they are perfectly aligned if the two codes are perfectly aligned and hence there is no output at the output of the comparator. Uh, before going into the explanation in detail, let us see little bit what is there inside the uh, non coherent demodulator architecture. Inside the non coherent demodulator architecture, uh, we are uh, this, this demodulator is uh, sitting uh, inside the demodulator, they are there are the I path and the Q path. And, um, uh, the signal here is getting generated for the, it is generating both the in phase and the Q phase carriers, where the carriers will be in the intermediate frequency plus the modulated frequency shift, it is a shift over the modulated frequency that is expected to happen with respect to the center carrier frequency. And uh, the I and Q signals, uh, the carriers are getting multiplied with the incoming signal. That incoming signal here is from the from the output of the bandpass filter. So remember, the signal bandwidth it will be capital B only. And uh, here is the integrator. The integrator is expected to integrate the whole signal over a duration of uh, hopping time. So it is zero to T H for both the in phase and the out of phase carrier. Remember, this particular diagram is based on the slow frequency hopping. For the first frequency hopping, actually we have to uh, speed, we have to give a speed and we have to move fast and uh, the architecture will be also switching fast uh, in between the in between the carriers and it will be little bit different, the architecture will be little bit should be updated according to that. The integrator output we understand that it should needs to be sampled and it's a, it should be fed into a square law detector. So, this uh, device is a square law detector and uh, the switches, uh, these are the cases where the in phase, I phase and Q phase sampling is going on. And remember the sampler is sampling at the, uh, at, uh, at the rate of 1 by the bandwidth. So, this bandwidth limitation came from uh, the front end IF filter. The squared law portions after the squared law output of the both in phase as well as the Q phase component of each and every non coherent detector will be added in the adder final adder circuit and you will be uh, expecting the output at the output of the adder. So, where are we now? We are here. So, inside this uh, NCD modulated output, we have seen that we have uh, taken the signal, we have done converted. So, that WIF plus actually thus uh, WIST is there with us. Basically, this uh, down conversion to the IF is uh, IF, it may actually the choice of this IF may vary and uh, it completely dependent on you that uh, how low you we do you wish to have this IF for your uh, typical circuit design. And finally, the output of this guy needs to feed inside the integrate and uh, dump receiver because that is the architecture of a non coherent uh, detector. And uh, this uh, integration is done over the hopping duration and we consider it actually now if it is as it is a slow frequency hopping going on. 
So, for one symbol we will be getting over the duration of the T h only the one F s k modulated symbol coming inside. Sampler is sampling at the rate of the uh, 1 by b where b is the bandwidth that is controlled by the initial filter I mean i f filter. Squalor detector is simply squaring them up the sampled signals and finally, they should be added and uh, here your output is fed towards the maximum select each n t h seconds. Remember, if I am having this kind of the architecture. So, the frequency synthesizer initially whatever the output it is giving to the bandpass filter, if it does not know actually what exactly where is your demodulation is going on, in which frequency the demodulation is going on. So, you will put the all parallel that is why the we have put so many number of the demodulators detectors uh, here in the receiver path and uh, all the outputs all this kind of the parallel inputs are checked all the time for each and every input creating actually some output of it. So, out of all this with whom uh, the input will be perfectly synchronized nobody knows, but once actually it is synchronized then the output of that typical uh, demodulator will be higher it is added over the capital N number of the samples and this added output uh, and this output is uh, added outputs for each and every branch or the path is entering into the select uh, block diagram and it chooses basically the maximum value wherever it is intuitive that whoever will be matching with the input signal its detector output will be maximum compared to others. So, fundamentally this blocks of uh, target is to choose the maximum output out of all the paths and once that is detected then he will be sending uh, this information to the threshold comparator to compare the um, uh, incoming signal the difference between the incoming signal and locally generated one. The output of this uh, if it is some output is there, so then it will be included it will be utilized to update the clock phase information inside the uh, inside the receiver section. Okay. So, this was the architecture receiver architecture or the detector architecture at the in the receiver. Now, see some facts if MFSK frequency is correlated over the capital N hops it should be because what I told that if it is a FFHK signal the same signal is transferred once in the hop number 1 and uh, frequency number 1 and then within that how the equation was completed it was actually before that computation was done it was uh, driven it was actually driven to the other frequency to hop. So, the component of the same signal is there over the multiple hops. So, for the decision and the detection of that kind of the signal over the fast frequency hopping we can have a good point that we can choose uh, we can choose the value of the SNRs, we can calculate the value of the SNR over these multiple hops and we can take the best out of it or we can do some kind of the addition or uh, weighted addition over all these different hops to get a choice or to have a better decision about the transmitted signal. signal. And uh, if more SNR is uh, so overlapping is obvious over the n hops so the maximum is selected. And uh, if more SNR is needed for this acquisition, the multiple MFSK symbols that can be combined over say ns number of the MFSK symbols that needs to be combined now in order to have uh, more SNR uh, required for the acquisition mechanism. And um, uh, since we are so we have uh, assumed since more beginning that the capital N is the frequency hops per MFSK tone and now if it is the symbol duration is T s. So, duration of the symbol should be always given by the capital N into T h uh, because one symbol means you are having capital N number of the hops and uh, each hop is having the duration of T h. So, the total symbol duration for this capital N hop will be capital N into T 8. And uh, for fast frequency hopping this each and every MFSK symbol frequency this frequency will be uh, same over the each hop. 
that uh, we have also discussed at the beginning. And uh, however, the, the phases remember though the frequency will be same over the multiple symbols, but uh, phases can never be same. And, uh, and hence actually due to the action of the hopping and dehopping uh, synthesizer itself, we can never uh, think of actually the there will not be any effect on the phase, but, but uh, there will be rather rather there will be a very big effect also and the variation of the phase or the FSK signal one FSK signal to the next will be really very high. And uh, we have assumed in the in this situation that this phases are random in nature after each and every hop. And uh, now we have also shown that figure number 1 b which is a detector uh, details that the slow frequency hopping will be applied when the hop frequency T h is changed at the symbol period duration T s. This is a um, uh, time frequency diagram of the search mechanism or search acquisition mechanism. I will refer and come back here uh, once more while explaining this figure. Uh, just to remember one thing and note one thing that uh, receiver and transceiver, receiver and transmitter now uh, they are not in sync because of which actually the search process has started. Remember the difference between these two, I mean um, is uh, denoted here the frequency receiver frequency synthesizers uh, time gap with respect to the original, uh, original transmit waveform is uh, around, uh, around EPSA that epsa is uh, it needs to be minimized as minimum as possible, but it should not be actually on the opposite way it cannot be exceeding the time intervals. Now, we will come back here. This uh, timing assumption in the figure number 2 um, and the relationship of the frequency hops. Uh, for FFHK, FSK and the MFSK symbols all are illustrated. It is assumed that when the receiver uh, dehopping synthesizer is offset by say psa seconds as I have shown in the earlier slide uh, from the received hopping waveform that, uh, that the previous one that, uh, that the previous one and the signal of the previous one and the signal of the next one will be actually uh, quite different from the immediate one. And uh, hence, uh, you can never actually, so that is why actually there will be a typical detector output will can never be uniform over the, over the time interval when before the EPSA came, before the EPSA duration and after the EPSA duration also. Uh, the following uh, hop frequencies and the sufficiently different from the current hop frequency that it will uh, previous hop frequency and the uh, the next hop frequency will be quite different from the current hop frequencies that is detected and, uh, uh, and detected in the detectors of this figure number 1a. And with this uh, assumption the detectable portion of the signal will be of duration T h minus mod epsa. Okay. This is a portion that I have shown in the earlier graph, um, let us go back. So, detector will only get the overlapping section of this, this gray area, this gray area. So, because of the mismatch between the transmitter and the receiver frequency synthesizers, this is the only area or the time interval over which the detector can provide you some output. Okay. It may be necessary to accumulate uh, non-coherently all the N S symbols to enhance the signal to noise ratio definitely because the structure itself is a, a non coherent architecture. So, the process and the mechanism will be the of accumulating the signal to noise power have to be um, means, uh, non coherent in nature. The figure 2 now let us come to the row by row. Figure number 2 illustrates the time frequency algorithm and the top row of this figure illustrates the data frequency and uh, you let us go back. Uh, this is the first row and this first row detects and first row talks about the transmitted MFSK uh, sequence and uh, their corresponding frequency and we see that uh, the rate of transmission of this frequency, rate of transmission of the signal is actually one fourth than the hop sequence. That means, per symbol you will be hopping 
4 times. So, transmitted hop sequence is uh, part symbol y is 4. So, I, we are saying that the symbol uh, uh, frequency is 1 fourth than the hop frequency. Okay. So, this is a row number 1 saying the modulated frequency rate, uh, sorry modulated frequency rate, this is a row number 2 who is talking about the transmitted hop rate and uh, row number 3 come here. So, who is talking about the received FFH MFSK frequency response, where you see at each and every uh, time duration. So, this is the time axis and what exactly the frequency you are receiving over the time axis is the diagram about. In the first case, you will be receiving F 1 okay, plus the FFSK, because that is the modulation, total modulation frequency that you will be receiving plus some del F changes you are getting that del f is actually because of the frequency of of because of the timing there is a some mismanagement and some mismatch over the frequency also between and that is a constant del f that is going on for all kind of the for over all the uh, symbols and for all the kind of the frequency for the transmission and uh, we understand that the receiver frequency synthesizer is not matching with the timing information of the transmitted one and hence that frequency that timing gap or mismatch is mentioned here as epsa. And uh, if that is there, so the whole received signals will have some shift and mixer output, mixer difference frequency output if I now try to see you will be actually obviously getting the output for this zone, this is in the left side of this dotted line and that will be your F i f plus your del f plus your sum amount of the F s k. Here actually F f s k will be in this typical case this F f s k is equal to 1. And uh, so, this is the way the mixer difference output will be there and we are really interested actually the output of the detector and when the signal present sequence is there, detector has got only this much, uh, this much overlapping area to detect and hence the detector output will be looking like high after the EPSA time interval and of the received sequence and it will hold good actually uniformly like this. Uh, here is the understanding of the, here we end with the understanding of how this acquisition happens in an FFH uh, as well as SFH MFSK signal, uh, MSH MFSK signals and the systems. And uh, with this uh, in the next module, we will continue with some detailed derivatives of this uh, FFH MFSK system to understand what exactly, uh, how the acquisition process is going on and uh, what exactly is the acquisition time for uh, acquisition time required for this active search mechanism in this uh, FFH MFSK systems.